Welcome to the future of dining, where your waiter or waitress might not actually be a person, but a machine. But why are we even talking about this? I mean, the concept of robot servers isn't new, and until several years ago, it hasn't really had any legs to stand on. No pun intended. So today, we're going to be diving in depth talking about restaurant workers that are going to be replaced by robots. And what is actually the feasibility of this? I mean, for the most part, we know that the service industry is not going to be completely replaced within the next 10 years by robots. But many restaurants around the world are deploying technologies that can offset their labor cost, make it so that they have workers running 24-7 that don't ever require a break, and quite frankly, improve their bottom line, which is always the core business model of restaurants because their margins are already so thin. So today, we're going to be taking a deep dive into this and looking at could there be a significant number of jobs impacted by AI and robots that are going to be actually replacing these fast food service workers? I say yes. Now, robot waiters are not a new concept, but their presence is growing rapidly. Many of the technologies that exist today allow these robots to do pretty much the same thing as a server to some extent. I mean, they can navigate the restaurant, identify tables, deliver food, and even take dishes back to the kitchen. But many of them struggle with the limitations of things like outdoor walkways or stairs and navigating physical spaces. But for small circumstances where things like food runners being able to place food down and bring it to a table, these sort of simple tasks that don't really require a lot of external thinking and could really easily be programmed into a machine are starting to see some adoption across the world as a way to reduce those extra costs and reduce the number of staff needed for simple restaurant tasks like taking those orders. But they can't always take orders. Every robot that needs to be programmed for the purpose of having a, a service worker, being a, you know, a waiter or waitress or food runner or many of the other roles that you would typically see in a restaurant, a lot of that can't be done by a robot because, simply put, it's too complex, the circumstances are too fast-paced, and it is a bit difficult at times to program that because the environment is just changing so rapidly. But how exactly do they work? Well, to put it simply, they're programmed just to be like a human. They would navigate the restaurant floor, identify tables, deliver food, take food back. But as much as technology has come a really long way in the past several years, there are still limitations we have to consider. First of all, robots can't even navigate stairs. I mean, the robots that we're talking about here are not Boston Dynamic robots doing the flips and tossing tools up. And, you know, that's not the type of robots we're talking about here. But the question becomes, is the implementation of robot service industry workers, specifically in restaurants, going to happen because that they are going to be required to do these really complex tasks and completely replace these restaurant workers? Or do you need somebody who is efficient, can follow orders, and do the simple tasks that not many people want to think about? Let's jump into the nitty gritty of the actual implementation and rapid adoption of the replacement of service workers with robots in the restaurant industry. The fact is, companies like Bear Robotics and Poodle Robotics have deployed tens of thousands of robot waiters worldwide. For instance, Noodletopia, which is a restaurant based in Michigan, has not one, not two, but three robot waiters and their staff, significantly reducing the need for humans at all. This suggests that in the long run, robot waiters could be the more economical choice for restaurant owners. So although you might have an easy time replacing your human employees with robots, you might have a hard time replacing your human customers with them. As we look towards the future, it's very possible that we can see a divide in the restaurant industry. I mean, we could see restaurants that are completely automated, 100% run by AI and robots. And what sort of thing happens when you have robots that are completely running restaurants? Well, we might just see that on the other end of the spectrum, human service suddenly becomes a luxury, a premium that you have to pay for. You want a restaurant service and restaurant experience that is gonna be given to you by a human? Pay extra. Be expected to pay extra because it's gonna cost more for that human to serve you. And as the population of our planet begins to increase and we begin to see a global adoption of robot waiters, Who's to say that that doesn't become the new normal? The owner of Noodletopia has stated that while a robot costs around $15,000, a human in the same position doing the same job costs around five to 6,000 per month. You could easily recoup the cost of a single waiter robot in just under three months of a regular human waiter's salary. Well, not including tips. I mean, you didn't think I'd really get through a whole video talking about robot waiters without talking about the most important thing when talking about robot waiters. Nobody wants to be served by a robot waiter. I'm sure you've seen the videos on social media of people being astounded going to countries abroad that are more high tech that have robot waiters that serve them, you know, bring them their food. I'm sure you've seen the video, very, very famous, very, very popular recently about the robot bartender with 50 different types of liquor underneath it that could just have the arm, reach down, grab it, mix them around, 
you know, and make the perfect cocktail. And sure, while the novelty of that is fantastic, people don't really want to be served by a robot waiter. And part of the reason we go out to restaurants is the experience. The whole point of going is not just for the food, it's for the experience. I mean, sure, if you wanted just the food from the restaurant, you could DoorDash it or Skip the Dishes it or Uber Eats it to your house. But most of the time when people are going out to a restaurant, you want the experience of going there, being served by somebody, being talked to about the specials and the menu and the drinks and just the whole experience of going to a restaurant, which is completely, completely depersonalized when you get an autonomous robot. As the technology continues to advance and become more affordable, we are likely to see an increase in the amount of human workers replaced by robots. But as it becomes more affordable and we start to see a greater amount of robot service workers in the restaurant industry, we must consider the one fact, the desire for human interaction and human service for us in restaurants may never fully disappear. So if you're a restaurant owner and are considering replacing your entire human staff with robots, I urge you to reconsider because although you might think it's the right decision, I don't think your customers might share the same point of view. If there are any humans watching this video, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so it supports the channel and puts my content out to more people who might be likely to see it and want to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, my name is Josh Mountain. Unless I am replaced by a robot, I'll see you in the next one.